What's up everyone? I'm here to give you another update. Probably the biggest thing I've been hearing from people as I've been making phone calls is I miss everyone and I want to be back at church on Sunday. I want our church to reopen. I miss all of you so much uh, and I want us to reopen as well. That probably isn't going to happen uh, for a little while just based on what we're hearing and, and feedback we're getting. We're hoping our groups can start meeting in person at some point. We don't know when that's going to be. We're going to kind of follow what the government tells us, but we are not focused on that. We're focused on living out the mission of God, no matter what's happening with our building. But I thought uh, for the update that I would actually take you inside of our building so you can kind of see some of the stuff that's happening that's not necessarily shown on camera every week. Uh, so obviously uh, there's some uh, hand sanitizer, so I'll, I'll get some of that. Uh, and then over here, we've been delivering uh, packages to people. And here's some leftover uh, ones from Easter. And uh, there's some candy in here that uh, I think I will make that mine. That will be mine now. No, I'm just uh, and uh, yeah, so we've been delivering packages to kids, to seniors. It's been incredible. As we head into the sanctuary, you can see there is a ladder over here because uh, we've been adjusting the lights. And uh, you can see kind of obviously things are different in here. Uh, we move the camera down. Uh, so we could get a better camera angle, which means we had to move all the chairs out of the middle uh, just so that nothing is there. And you can, if you've been watching online, this is about the picture that you're seeing. Uh, and that's kind of what we've been doing. And our tech booth, a lot's been happening in this tech booth recently. And uh, if you get a chance, say thank you to our tech people. We have been fixing a lot of problems, working overtime. I've actually been involved in this as well. Um, and I actually last week cleaned up all of those wires. And I know what you're thinking, yes. That's the cleaned up version. I was down there cleaning that up. It's crazy. So, but again, thank you so much for our sound people, our tech people, our media people. They've really gone above and beyond to help us out. Uh, and so if you, if you know any of them, say a huge thank you to them. And if you're tech skilled at all, please talk to us because we need you. We're filming lots of extra videos. Uh, here's the green screen uh, that was on the wall when uh, Hannah and Jackie were filming their Hana on Jaka. Uh, so uh, that's kind of fun. That was really fun to do. I haven't done a green screen video in a while. Uh, here is my electric guitar on the side. I was, if you didn't hear it on Easter, that was me playing off screen. There's a couple times you can see just the edge of my guitar, but that electric guitar didn't come from nowhere. That was me, so all those mistakes that was me. Um, and then here's our uh, stage. And uh, we put this up here in the front, this kind of front stage, uh, just so uh, we could have that, just different spots for camera angles, a little more distancing between people. And uh, this is what I am looking at generally on a Sunday, just basically trying to focus right into that camera. There's only a handful of people in the room uh, when I'm filming. And I tell you, it is hard to preach to an empty room and look kind of at a camera, but not at a camera. I miss everyone, uh, but again, it's gonna go on for a little while longer, and that's okay. Uh, over here, uh, we have our little hope thing that Jackie and her team made, and, uh, and then we got our bless journals. And I wanna spend kind of the rest of my update time talking about this bless journal. Here's the thing, uh, we could spend forever talking about, oh, the government should be doing this, or the government should be doing that. But our job isn't to be talking about like, what should the government be doing? Our job is to be living out what Jesus has told us to do. And in our church, we always talk about three things. The first is get close to Jesus, get filled up with his hope. The second is to stay connected to other people so that we can share that hope with other people and carry each other's burdens. That's through groups and life groups and other things like that. And coming up, we have some game parties and our kids are gonna be having Zoom parties and get connected and do that stuff. And then the last way is to get active. And it might be hard to go like, well, what are we supposed to be doing in a pandemic? And that's what this Bless Journal is all about. And in fact, I was super encouraged this week because we had some people uh, who aren't part of our church but are becoming part of our church online. They basically said, send me those journals. I'm in, I wanna put this into action. This isn't a time to be kind of like, hey, it's about me or what's happening or stuff like that. This is a time to be saying, hey, 
I can pray for people every day. I can pray for my neighbors. I can pray for people around me. I can listen together. That's what we're gonna be talking about this, this weekend. Uh, and then, you know, eat together. That's gonna be a challenge with the pandemic, but there's gonna be some creative ways we're gonna share. And then serving people and then sharing our stories. This is a way to actually share God's hope out in the world. And it makes such a difference because the world is hungry for hope. The world has always been hungry for hope, but especially right now, people are longing for hope. And I think our job as Christians is to get this into action. Uh, my wife and I have been praying uh, through this list for over a week. And I just felt like God putting it on our hearts to say, we need to go be involved more with our neighbors. I haven't always been the greatest about being involved with my neighbors. And so because of everything going on, uh, my wife and I went to the dollar store. We bought a whole bunch of bags, about 20, uh, and then uh, popcorn and then treats and Sudoku and stuff like that and toilet paper. And we're basically tonight, we're going to go deliver that to the neighbors around with a little note just saying, hey, if you need anything, let us know. We're praying for you. Uh, and we just want to be a blessing because we don't know what people are going through and we don't know what's happening, but we wanna keep being a blessing. The church has a job to do, okay? We don't know when things are gonna reopen, but here's the thing. Our church is, hasn't met in this building the whole time. Our church has been in a gym and in a multi-purpose room and in a cafeteria. Our church has been all over the place. Our church is not defined by this building. Our church does have a mission. And I wanna challenge you and I wanna encourage you to get on that mission, whether you're more busy than you've ever been or you got more time than you've ever had, live out that mission. Get filled up with God's hope, kind of devotions, weekend worship, other things like that. Get connected to other people. Okay, we got our game parties and our life groups and then get in action, making it happen, saying, God, I got some work to do right now. My friends, I want you to be hope dealers with me. You know what I'm talking about? Please get into action. I know a lot of people in our church are gonna do this, but my prayer is that it will be all of us and we'll take something that's an idea and we'll turn it into a movement. We got a job to do. Let's keep doing what God's asked us to do. Let's pray for our government officials and let's keep doing what we are called to do as Christians, sharing hope out into the world. That's my update for this week. If you got any questions, comments, concerns about my sanity or anything, just email me, let me know. I'm trying to make lots of calls too. Um, I'm praying for you, praying for our church. Let's keep living it out together. That's the update for this week. God bless you, and I will see you on the weekend services.